everybody welcome back to another studio vlog if you're new here my name is ellen and i run so and inspire i am so happy to be back with the studio vlogs it has been way too long since i've done a studio vlog welcome back they will be i'm hoping that they're going to be in every other week kind of situation and then the weeks in between the studio vlogs are going to be like either like tutorials or sew with me's or something like that that is kind of my plan so today it's actually sunday i'll kind of film them mostly over the weekend and then a few bits here and there in the week depending how busy i am but i thought i would start it today i actually am doing something very very exciting today i'm actually making a custom order i am so excited and feel so honored is not the right word but kind of honored that someone has asked me to um make them a custom order they asked me if they could have some pajamas and then she just she drew out what she wanted and i'm gonna make them i can't believe it i thought i would take you along with my first kind of experience of doing a custom order I, I just i feel so weird that someone trusts me it's quite a lot for someone to trust you to make them like a custom pair of pajamas it's going to be quite expensive and it's for two people as well um so oh i just can't believe it i'm going to start this morning by um tracing the pattern and making the adjustments that i need to for what she wanted because i'm using this pattern here but she wants a round neck for the top and uh, long sleeves and she wants the top quite shaped so i just i need to just make those adjustments and work out which size is going to be the best one to make because they're in small medium large which really annoys me but i'm going to trace this out so i don't have to cut it and i can have all the sizes also another really exciting thing i've got a new camera i feel so grateful and lucky that i was able to get myself a new um camera because my camera was dying really badly i really wasn't happy with the quality of my videos but there wasn't much i could really do but it was getting really bad and it was getting to a point where i literally couldn't use it so I kind of looked around the house and was like, what can I sell that I don't really use anymore? I got a new laptop for my birthday, so I was able to sell my laptop and a few other things. So I was able to buy myself a Canon G7X. Here's a little clip of me unboxing it. I actually can't believe this is in my possession. Just look how beautiful this is. I can't believe it's here. It's so much like bigger and chunkier than the camera I've got now. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> I get very overexcited about things like this, by the way. The quality is... Right, I'm gonna go watch a YouTube video and I'll be back on my new camera. Honestly, I'm so grateful that I was able to buy this. And get since getting the camera, I've just felt so motivated to like film videos and stuff, which is obviously really good. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get going, I'm cutting out the pattern. And I hope you find the quality better on the new camera. Good morning, everybody. It just turned eight o'clock and I'm in the studio bright and early this morning before school because i'm trying to get myself into a routine and i'm just like figuring what timings are working best for me at the moment i'm testing this one today i got up at my normal time quarter past six and did some embroidery and then i just got ready and now i'm going to crack on with cutting out these pajamas because i didn't actually get that far because for some reason the neckline literally took me two hours and i have no idea why i was just having one of those times where it's just not working when i sew it it either goes really smoothly absolutely fine or everything seems to be a problem <laughs> don't know if anyone else gets this 
gets like that it's just some days it just all goes wrong i am happy with how it looks now this is the top it's a bit difficult to see but here's the neckline i was kind of just figuring out how i was going to do it as well which was why it was taking a bit longer but now i know what i'm doing so for the second one it'll be absolutely fine the top's um basically done i just need to add the fur to the sleeves and um down here so now i just cutting out the trousers so i can sew them up um, at some point today this is the situation <laughs> that i have going on right now like these things folding them back up is literally the bane of my life but i'm gonna just try and tidy up a little bit and then once i can actually like see the floor and the bed i'm going to also cut out and make an order that came in on either i think it was sunday right first job is tidy and fold these patterns back up <laughs> spots when she takes baby for a walk but i just wanted to quickly show you these because it's been so long since i've done a tuto vlog i haven't been able to show you things like this but i've recently well not that recently anymore maybe like november time i got these labels which say made with love by so and inspire which are so cute i will if i can find it i will link the etsy shop in the description box they were a lot bigger than i thought they were going to be so next time i order them i am going to order them um a bit smaller because they're like a fine size for my pencil cases and stuff but i can't put them in anything else i'm so bad with things like this like always forget to sew them in so i've just put them so so i remember i just slot them in there so when i go to sew they catch my eye and i'm like need to put that in so yeah it just goes um like here i'll show you when the fence case is done what it looks like and then this is what it looks like when it's finished it just like sits nicely in there here is the order all made so i'm gonna have to package this up at lunchtime because i didn't realize what time it was and i've only got like 10 minutes i don't want to rush it this is the reality of running a business when you're trying to do online school you just like do random bits when you have a minute so yeah but at least it gives me a focus if you want to know how to make that pencil case by the way i have a tutorial on my channel which i did ages ago so i'm not sure if that is if that good because another thing i just i was watching some of my old studio vlogs and i literally hate them because i just think they're really like bad and boring i'm like how how has anyone subscribed and watches my videos but i'm hoping that so all of my studio vlogs and videos this year are gonna just be the best quality and like really well thought out and just hopefully int more interesting for you to watch because another thing we i don't know we might have hit it by the time this video goes up but we're on 69 subscribers right now which is so close to 70 and quite close to 100 which is just absolutely crazy to me mad okay <laughs> i also recently ordered some stickers to put in my orders so if you order from me from now on then you'll get a sticker they've just got like i'm really sorry about any barking um they've just got like all positive quotes on and stuff i just thought they'd be cute to put in my orders so grab one of these to put in this order I'm just about to package it up got my oops got my phone set up here to do a little time lapse for instagram stories i'm literally trying so hard to be active on instagram 
stories like every day but I wasn't very well that last week so I didn't um, post much on Instagram so I didn't post yesterday so I'm like right today you've got to get back on it and you'll get in the rhythm because the week before I got into like a rhythm and it wasn't like a chore to remember I don't find it a chore to post I find it a chore to remember <laughs> and then I'm also really worried that no one actually cares what I'm posting on my stories and I should just shut up but <laughs> I'm just gonna post as much as I can and then hopefully it might help me in the long run I also want to post a picture to my feed as well today so I'm gonna try and do this is my plan Tuesday Thursday Saturday Monday Wednesday Friday Sunday Tuesday so go like that because I'm doing me made Mondays every other Monday so I was like then it works so I have all the plans I just need to execute them <laughs> Batteries are gone. <laughs> oh well, we'll just have to um, live without fairy lights for this morning. Good morning, it is now Friday. It's actually the day this vlog is going up, so if you wonder what I was doing this morning, <laughs> this is how I spent my Friday morning. I was editing the studio vlog last night and it's quite short at the moment, but I knew that I wanted to film some other clips for it today. This morning, I thought. I would kind of sit down with you and I have like 45 minutes before I need to start school so I thought I would show you how I kind of plan my time and my content because it's I have to make sure that I know what I'm doing and when it's going up and everything like that because I don't want to say I'm really busy but juggling school and homework and so and inspire and my well-being <laughs> it's it's a lot and in 2021 i want to just try and work hard and make sure that i'm better at time planning and content planning and things this little notebook has been my kind of my hub if you like i write a little to-do list every single day of everything that I need to get done and then if I don't get it done I just write it the next day and then I've kind of divided up the notebook so the next section is my random ideas so I've got my uh, 2021 goals for Sewn Inspire and here last night I sat down and just brainstormed loads of video ideas I've got 
so many ideas so now i kind of have all of my ideas just jotted down on the page now i can like plan them when they're actually gonna be which will help me know like what i need to film that weekend for friday and and so on then on a more daily basis i don't know if this is at all interesting so if it's not feel free to click off for daily planning i got this from amazon i'll link it down below i only got this like in the middle of the week it only arrived on tuesday i think so it's not filled out um how it would normally be but basically my plan is to at the beginning of the week on a sunday or something I'm going to sit down and plan out my day so I know exactly what I'm doing in the day. Doing this custom order this week, I've had to make sure, like, on this day I'm sewing on the waistband. On this day I've got to send her a picture. On this day I've got to sew on the fur. Do you know what I mean? It just has the times from 7 in the morning to quarter to 9 in the evening. That's how I plan out my days to make sure that I get everything done for school and I get everything done for Sewing Inspire. And I also bought myself this A3 calendar. So what I'm going to do now is just look at all of my video ideas and put them onto here so I know when I'm posting what. And I'm also going to do the same for Instagram a bit later because at the weekend I'm going to have a, um, a photo taking session. about everything got some really exciting videos planned out the rest of january and the whole of february for now also i literally cannot believe it we hit 70 subscribers i think we're even on a few more which honestly thank you so much and uh, when i woke up this morning i noticed that i had quite a few new comments on a few of my videos and what this lady said she's in um america and like the fact that she took the time not to just watch my videos but to comment on them and just leave such nice and thoughtful comments just and i've had this from a few people not just her it honestly just means so much that someone has decided to take the time out of their day to do that thank you if you've ever left me a comment if you've liked the video if you've done anything if you subscribed just thank you <laughs> just have to say thank you because i'm just thank you i think the reason why my subscribers have been going up quite quickly for me recently is because one of my videos has over a thousand views and it's the one that's um how i started my etsy shop i just did that video to like document me starting i literally i don't like the video anymore and I'm kind of embarrassed that that many people have seen it. <laughs> never, never did I ever think a video that I had made would have a number with a K after it. You know when- oh. Anyways, what time is it? I've got 25 minutes until I have to start school. Regarding the custom order that I was talking about and showed briefly earlier in the vlog, I messaged the lady and sent her pictures of it to ask what she think what she thought you know when you ask someone is this okay is this what you were thinking of like your biggest fear is that they're gonna be like yeah that that's not what i had in mind but she just wrote back perfect which just gave me so much confidence so yeah i'm now very excited about making them because it got to a point where i was getting really nervous but now I'm not and it's all good. I ordered some more of my just white, plain white cotton fabric because this is what I line all of my pencil cases with. I ordered this white fabric from Amazon but it was Dalston Mill on Amazon because at the minute Dalston Mill, their website isn't functioning, they're not delivering. So, and I got it from there last time and I really liked the quality and yeah, it's really nice because obviously I have to buy quite a lot at one time and I want to get get it at the best price that I can so 
yeah that's pretty good oh god this is honestly the bane of my life so what i do is i just collect um like old wrapping paper rolls they're not ideal because they're obviously not very long but they do the job Up fabric it just never seems to go straight but i didn't do too bad of a job before i do end the studio vlog i just quickly wanted to show you the cross stitch i'm working on right now i started this in the first lockdown literally months and months ago and i just kind of stopped doing it for some reason because it was one of it's like quite a big project so it was quite hard to get started but now i'm like properly into it it's a lot easier just to pick it up this is what it looks like so far i am so happy with how it's looking this is what it's going to look like in the end hopefully yeah but i'm really pleased with it i think it looks so nice with the two tones of green yeah i will keep you updated in the studio vlogs how i'm getting on with this but apart from that i don't really ha think i have anything else to show you or talk to you guys about for this week so i think i'm gonna end it but next the next studio vlog i'm gonna do i'm gonna show a lot more about the custom order because i haven't worked on it as much as i thought i was going to this week so there'll be a lot of sewing in next in the next studio vlog if you would like to check out my etsy shop it is always linked in the description box although i do quickly just want to say that i'm thinking of changing the prices of some of my products which kind of makes me quite nervous because i have had i honestly can't count the amount of messages i've had from people saying that my product should be more expensive and that i don't charge for what they're worth and i was like yeah okay but now I have been selling on Etsy a year and I've kind of seen how much I've earned from it all and how much it's cost me to make them. I don't think that I charge enough, which obviously I want them to be as affordable as possible and they're not they're not going up by loads, they're literally going up by a few pounds. I feel like it's quite it's a grown up decision rather than a I wanna make more money decision because I just at the moment on some items especially i'm just i'm not making anything which seems a bit pointless do you know what i mean like i'm barely charging enough for them for how much it costs me to make i don't know i'll probably talk about it more in the next studio vlog if you see the prices go up just know i haven't done it because i want to earn more money i'm doing it just because i think that i should be charged the right amount and not undercharging myself I don't know I don't know as always thank you so much for all of the support on my youtube channel recently and if you if you want to see what I get up to more during the week then do follow us on instagram I'll link it in the description box but if you did enjoy the video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and we might be able to get to 100 soon I don't know I hope you enjoyed the first studio vlog back I hope you all have the best weekend or week wherever you are in the world and I will see you next Friday at 6pm for a brand new video. Bye!